Hi, and thanks for joining this Acumatica video on importing your credit card transactions into Acumatica and matching them up. So in this video, it's important to note that these are your company credit cards, not the ones that you settle from customers. So if you've ever had to do it, it takes a lot of time when you get your credit card statement and you have to bring it in, you have to put in all of the expense entries and manually go through them and create an AP bill and go through that entire process. This can be very time consuming and uh, many people tell us that uh, you know it takes over an hour at least if they don't get interrupted per month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ability to import in, in this case, an American Express import file showing activity for a specific month and to bring in all these transactions and then automatically process them by matching them to existing transactions in Acumatica or creating new transactions. So let's get started. So the first thing we do is we go to banking and we can either import our file into the import bank transactions, but also process bank transactions has it here as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select our credit card and note that this is a cash account in the system as a liability. So when we set up our cash account, we point this to a liability account. And the reason we do this is because as we import all of our transactions, all of the disbursements will continue to accrue this liability until such time where we have a payment and that relieves that liability. So when I select my liability account, you'll notice that there's already an existing receipt that has not been processed. And Acumatica will try to match it up and it's found a decent match. The transaction dates aren't exact, but under our match settings, when we're trying to match things up, and you've seen this through the cash management preferences, you have a days before and a days after for disbursements and receipts. So Acumatica will go backwards and forwards to try to find a match. So on the left are the transactions we've imported using our import file from American Express. And on the right are the matches. So this one's pretty easy. We can check this off, hit process, and this transaction will get hidden because it's been matched up correctly. So let's go back in and let's do this again. This time we'll import a brand new file. So as I mentioned before, you can upload the file, even though Acumatica has an import bank transactions here, you can import right from the process bank transactions. So let's do that. We'll hit upload. We'll find our file and we'll upload it. What you can see here are all the transactions in this import file have been brought into Acumatica and you can see disbursements on the right. So these are the amounts of each transaction. Now on the right hand side, we have the ability, as I mentioned, to match to payments or to existing invoices in Acumatica or to create new transactions. But more than that, Acumatica has automatic rules. So for example, if it sees the word inside the transaction description or it matches the amount, for example, it can make a recommendation to create a transaction. So let's hit the auto match button first. And you can see Acumatic has matched quite a few transactions. So let's take a look at this top one right here, Amazon Marketplace. The applied rule here under the create payment tab is Amazon Office. And it's using an entry type here for office expense. Now entry types, if you've seen some of my other videos, entry types translate into GL accounts. In this case, because it's a disbursement, it's an expense account. So if we click on this applied rule to get an idea what it looks like, you can see the name of the rule, the description. It is for disbursements. So that's important because if you have a rule that is for disbursements and you have a receipt that you're trying to auto match, you need another rule for the receipt. Here is the cash account that it's specific to. And more than anything, here is the transaction description. And notice the asterisk here. 
This allows us to use a wildcard search. We have this checkbox turned on here so that if Amazon is at the beginning of this transaction description, it will find it and use this rule. And then the resulting entry type is right here, this office expense. So let's close this. And again, you could see a number of different transactions here that have been matched. There's certainly some that have not. So let's process these. The nice thing about this screen is we can process what we can and then come back and finish off the rest. So I'm gonna run process here. Okay, so now that everything is done, you can see green check boxes. All of these have either been matched or as we, or as we saw before, we've created transactions for them, cash transactions. So let's hit the cancel button on this so we can get a fresh screen. And Acumatica now brings up the remaining entries. So for example, on this top transaction, we can go over to create payment. We can use a entry type for auto expenses and then go down to the next one. Now in this scenario, this is a travel expense. It's got the word Hilton in it. So I'm going to create a rule for this. Let's make this bigger. So the name of the rule will be Hilton and it will be Hilton Travel Expenses. And what I'm going to do, I don't care about the word Burlington here. Instead, I'm going to back this out and put an asterisk. I'm going to use the wildcard match and the amount, I do not want the amount to be the same every time, otherwise it'll never match. So I'm going to change this to none. My resulting entry type is already filled in because we had filled it in in the previous screen. So we'll hit save and close. Now let's do something here. Let's go to process this. We'll get these two out of the way so that we can test the auto match again. So in this case, we'll say unmatch all to get these yellow warning lights off. We'll say auto match. And now notice Acumatica found this one. So moving forward, I won't have to create this transaction and fill in the entry type manually. So as you can see, I've taken a process of entering all these lines into a bill, associating them with specific expense accounts every month, and I've turned it into basically several minutes. At the end of the video is our contact slide. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.